Hey guys, what is going on? It is me, Mr. Mario, and today I'm going to be giving you two tips on your PS3 that you are going to need to know. Just uh, anybody could know these and they're great to know. Anyways, first off, what you're going to need to know right here is how to reset your video settings. So as you can see, I turned on my PS3, however, I switched it from HDMI to component video just due to the fact that I was recording with my HD PVR. So there's something I'm going to be showing you right here, and I know this is old information, but the first thing is going to be how to change your video settings. Alright, so in order to change your video settings, the first thing you need to do is completely power down your PS3. So as you can see, that's what I'm doing right now. Now what you need to do after that, once you get the red light, you just need to hold down the power button and keep it held down. And what you're going to do is you're going to hear one beep, and then you're going to hear another beep. And the beeps don't even matter, but really, just hold it down until it powers down again like so. After that, just power it on normally and you should get your video reset to whatever you want it to be, whether it be composite, as video component, or HDMI. Alright, now what we're going to do is get into recovery mode. So first off, what you need to do is completely power down your system, and do the same thing as before. What you need to do is hold down their power button until it turns off, so you want to wait for that beep, and then another beep, and then it will completely power down once the video settings are reset. After that, you want to boot it up again. Now hold it down again, but wait for one beep, and your green light will flash. Now wait for a double beep, and when you hear that double beep, immediately let go, and you should be good to go. So once you do that, you can just hook up your PlayStation controller, press the PlayStation button, and you should be good to go in recovery mode. Now most of the time this is used if you are installing a custom firmware or whatnot, but it's always used as a recovery mode since that's what it is, so you can always utilize it for anything. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario signing off. Thanks for watching, everyone.